of what an integral is. So I'm going to title this board, what uh, does an integral mean? Okay, in, uh, in my layman's terms. I can tell you in words what it means, and you'll probably shrug your shoulders and say, well, okay, who cares? Um, but eventually I'm going to go ahead and explain it to you. What does it mean? In words, it means it is the area under a curve. Derivatives uh, is, the, is the slope of the line tangent to a curve. Integrals means that's the area under a curve. So let's figure out what, what the heck that means. Here is a graph here of a, fun of a function. It goes like this. The function is y is equal to x squared, so this is a parabola, and of course it goes negative, and so on. So here at the value of 4, you know, goes up to there, and this is the value obviously 0. Okay, the area under this curve, this area right here, the area, just like you would think area means, it is exactly like the area of a square or a rectangle, the actual area underneath this curve that would extend under this curve from zero to four is defined by definition to be what's happening everybody it's your boy ice cold jt back with another video you read the title we got another follow along workout and this one includes 15 different fat burning exercises that are 30 seconds long followed by a five second rest now this workout should hit your entire body but mainly you should really feel it in your core so make sure you're flexing your abs the entire time and if you really need a rest, like, you know what I'm saying, you really can't make it throughout the 30 seconds, it's all good, bro. Just bounce back, you know, keep getting back up, and keep moving forward, just like Aaron Yeager. The, the integral of x squared dx, but somehow you have to indicate that you want to know the area only between these two points. So you put a number here, which means from 0, and a number here, which means 4. And this is what I was trying to tell you earlier. This is an example of a definite integral, okay? So this is a definite zero to four okay it could be 10 to 100 it could be negative three to five it could be anything but anytime you put numbers here what you're asking is you want to, to define or bound this integral and only look at the area under that curve that you have here under the integral from certain two points that's a definite integral when you don't have any numbers here it's an indefinite integral and that's what we talked about earlier okay now I haven't really given you the theorem that proves that this is the case, but I'm going to show you how to calculate this area under this curve, like in actual square centimeters or something like this. What you would do is you would integrate this just like you always do, and we showed you how to do that. It's one third x to the third power. This is the answer, okay? Um, but then you have to draw yourself a vertical line to remind yourself that it's still being evaluated only from zero to four. There's no integral sign anymore because I've already done the integration. One third x to the third, that is the integral. But this vertical bar just reminds myself that I'm still evaluating this function that I've calculated from zero to four, okay? To calculate the area, you take the number on the top and you plug it in. So you would have here, one third, four to the third power minus. So what you have to do to finish this guy off is, You'll have to plug in the uh, value on the bottom on the right hand side, so that'd be one third zero to the third power, like this. And then this whole term is gonna go to zero because zero cubed is zero, and so it's gonna be zero. So in the end, what you would have is uh, four cubed, which would be 64 over three. And that would be the answer. That would be the actual answer in area units uh, underneath the curve there. Now, I haven't explained why this works. I haven't explained much about it. But basically, what you have done is you have already learned the fundamental theorem of calculus. And it really is called the fundamental theorem of calculus. And with a name like that, you would think it's pretty darn important. What it means is... The integral, when you go from A to B, so you have a definite integral defined from A to B of a function f of x integrated over the differential variable dx, 
would be equal to the antiderivative big F evaluated at the point B minus the antiderivative big F evaluated at the point A. This is how you'll see it written in your books. Big F just means take the integral of it. It's the integral of f of x. You evaluate it at the upper point b, and then you subtract the same function evaluated at the lower point a, which is exactly what we did here. We took the integral. This is big F in this case. We evaluate big F at the top point, which is 4. We evaluate and we subtract big F, which is this, evaluate at the lower point 0. You do this calculation, do the subtraction, you arrive at the answer, which is the evaluation of that integral over those points, which in layman's terms is the area under this curve. Now, briefly, I just want to give you kind of a, a song and dance a little bit more deeply about what integrals mean because it will help you as you go later on down in your, your studies of higher math. Okay, What you are really doing with this integral here is um, what you're doing is you're slicing this function up into an infinite number of slices like this. So if I were to draw like another curve here, I'm going to do it in red. And let's say we're going to approximate this function. Okay, so this is this dotted line is the real function. But if I were going to approximate it, I could have like a like a triangle here, a rectangle here, and a rectangle here.
That's just what helium does, Jebby. Look, you try it. Okay. Hey, guys. What? Doing? Ha, 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 ha. Why'd he do that? center of all that you see simple yet complex and fully textured and beauty be a part of all that you be for you are the best rhymers that i've ever heard huh oh that's, that's pretty bad. cool yeah like oh yeah they're into it oh what uh-uh Th this is real now uh. Why you talking about beauty, man? Don't understand what that's got to do with you, you fool. You guys are like spoiled hams in a can, super bland. Expiration date's overdue. Oh! The canning.
Tasting of meat is quite a sweet treat, so thanks for comparing us so. Your words are inspiring, ideas so concrete, you really put on quite a show! Okay, hold up. You want to talk words and verse, but your face is distracting. So ugly bugs me. Take care of that mess and sweep it under the rug, please. So trust me, you're only taking matters from bad to worse. Only solution is to turn it round and reverse. Whoa! A gift to us. New perspective on things. Life looking different from where you stand true. So much to discover, so spread your wings and take flight for a bird's eye view. Whoa! This be getting serious, you guys are delirious. Are you hearing this? Talking about positive things, but you ain't got no game. And it's plain to see you're strange to me, cause we be shining like diamonds. Y'all be petty cash, nice mustache, conquistadors be wanting it back. In fact, what are you, a rat, a squirrel, some kind of fat mere cat who thinks he's rad? And look at that, your bird friends dropping words absurd again. Useless bits of rhyme that expose the nerd in him. If you think Alpha Dog is gonna lie down and let you win, your head be all inflated, I guess, just like a giant blimp. Yeah, you can do it! Finish him off! It's been some time since I've felt this way, challenged by such worthy opponents. Your rhyme scheme is good, but you're missing a few components. You may say things that hurt, or some that will sting, but for you it's all just posturing. Look inside and be true to some real feelings, and the world will be yours, I'm assuring. So I thank you, good sirs, for this great contest. It's certainly been lots of fun, but there's nothing you can say to put me to rest. So really, I've already won. <laughs> Exhilarating. Thank you for standing by me. The power of poetry is nothing compared to the power of friendship. Stop him! He's really doing it. Ascending Sky Cage! Ah! No worries, mate. There's no way you can fit a Gamelon on.
That was amazing! You did it, man! You really did it! Fine. You think you're so hot? <laughs> How about a victory drink? I call it the Mississippi Queen. Mississippi Queen? Why do you call it that? Oh, you'll find out. Drink it! Drink it! Drink it! Drink it! Bottoms up, fellas. Actually wasn't that bad. Yeah, I didn't really taste anything. Yo, Chuck, your Mississippi Queen was Mississippi lame. Yeah. In this video, we're going to talk about how to evaluate definite integrals. Now, before we begin, take a minute to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So let's talk about the difference between a definite integral and an indefinite integral. A definite integral has a lower limit of integration, in this case, A and b, the upper limit of integration. An indefinite integral does not have that. So this is an indefinite integral, and this here is a definite integral. The antiderivative of a function f of x is capital F. To evaluate the definite integral, once you find the antiderivative, you need to plug in the limits of integration. And so the, the value of the definite integral is going to be f of b minus f of a.